a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Please, won't you be my neighbor? Nah. Uh, I liked it. Like, in all honesty, I'd probably only buy it if it was like under $5 on Black Friday or something, or I found it at Dollar Tree. Because it's not going to be one of those ones I'd want to want to watch over and over again. But, you know, it's a nice, decent enough film. You know, the message of it is don't be, don't be such a cynical asshole sometimes. A nice person is just a nice person. And Frank Rogers was a nice person. He had his anger issues like everybody else, but, you know, he held him inside. He kept him kept him inside and he uh, got it out through playing with mu- playing music or swimming. He didn't take it out by yelling at people, by lashing out, by hitting people. His uh, children were embarrassed with him just as much as any other ch- child would be embarrassed by their parents. They didn't tell anybody who their father was until after they were well into their adulthoods. I believe he said they were in their 30s then this movie was supposed to be going on. I mean, it's probably just because of how I see things. I mean, I see it as the writer was one of those uh, leftist assholes who thinks everybody's a horrible person and everybody's racist and everything, and Mr. Rogers proved them, you know, you're really the, you're the problem, not everybody else. The uh, writer spent all these years being a cynical a-hole, trying to tear people down, trying to find out the truth and everything, when he sent them to do a puff piece on somebody. And nope, there's no skeletons in the closet to find. You can't, uh, as his wife said, destroy anybody's childhood. Because, yep, he's a good person, and he helped you see how big of an a-hole you were. Because his uh, father, who... The, the writer... The, whole, the main purpose of the story thing is the writer has uh, abandonment issues because his father walked out on him because he couldn't take that his wife was dying. So he abandoned him and his daughter. Or the, the sister. And then years later, the sister ran, invites the father to the wedding because he didn't come to any other ones, but he comes to this one. The father wants to talk to the son, and the son decides he doesn't want to talk to the father, punches him in the face, and then the guy gets punched in the face, the writer. And then writer gets a, a puff of peace assignment because nobody wants to work with him anymore because he's just that big of an a-hole. And they send him to go talk, do a 400 page, a 400 word uh, summary, like a little blurb to go next to Mr. Rogers' picture as a hero award. And then through talking to Mr. Rogers and everything, he learns that, you know, he doesn't see, you don't see things just from one point of view. You have to look at all sides to get the truth. There's your truth, their truth, and the truth. And then there is, uh, there is good in people. Then everybody's a cynical a-hole who wants to get the one-ups on everybody. Some people just want to be nice people. I'm not one of those people, but, you know, he was, Mr. Rogers. Uh, it kind of, it's definitely one of those Oscar bait films. Like I said, it's not going to be one of the ones you want to watch over and over again, because, you know, besides the whole learn-to-be-yourself thing, I mean... That's about it. I mean, I love the transition thing because the transitions, if you ever saw Mr. Rogers' program, he had like these little toys, like these little uh, claymation buses and houses and that kind of stuff, and they moved around. They did that for the New York, Chicago, Los Angeles. They did that for all of those. Like, if they're transitioning from a, like, if the guy's taking a plane or taking a bus or something, or in a car, they would use that. And it's a nice little touch, at least my opinion. Uh, I'd give the movie a B. As I said, I probably wouldn't really watch it again. Or I'd probably watch it at least one more time. It's like, like I say, if I say it's a Black Friday movie, that means I'm going. That means I'd watch it at least one more time, and it's good enough that I would consider owning it. Uh, did you see a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood? Are you not going to bother? Thanks for watching, and see you next time.